but guys i wanted to do another quick little video of the day i'll probably actually get it uploaded tomorrow but uh, i'm playing around with this um you know this nvidia broadcast software and one of the things that they talked about it on their uh like their advertisement for it on the on the main page is augmented reality which is basically like real-time deep faking yourself uh but with like a 3d character not like with a real person yet uh since i've been playing with deep fakes you know i thought that was interesting that maybe you know i don't know how to do it of course yet uh and maybe it's not possible or whatever but if i could take some of the um some of the, the ai models that i've made like on schwarzenegger of course again and import um that model somehow using this rtx software onto my face you know to like real time deep fake myself i doubt it'd ever be like it'd probably be many years before we could get to the point where something like that would be truly convincing on the fly uh deep faking you know um although again like with a, tr a pre-trained model uh it might work and maybe you have to do it where like you train arnold against yourself uh you know for like a while in, in advance to make sure it was working but anyways putting that to the side um i did get some of their stuff to work it's all like in beta at this point and in fact it, I, I don't even know like what they're really supposedly doing with it um because even what they showed on uh their page it's like there's no download for any of it or anything like that i had to go to like github and get like the python code um and figure out how you know they have instructions but it's like poorly worded stuff or like a, um you know, that's my cat in the background um maybe i'm just i'm i'm probably just dumb and can't read that's certainly possible but i did finally get it to work after a couple of hours of screwing around with it and trying to find downloads but basically all it can do right now is apply a mesh to my face uh you see the box around my head right now so like that's face tracking that it can do and what i'll do here is i'll show you guys the other features so uh there's just face tracking there's um you know this is like plotting an axis of your face you can see it's got like a I think it's 36 or some odd points. I forget the number of points, but uh, maybe it's 68. Whatever. Uh, I'd have to look it up again, but whatever. Like you can see, you know, um, it's plotted the eyebrows, the eyes, and all these things. So, like anything you want to apply a mask to on a 3D plane, it's uh, doing that. This is called like the Surrey model. So, the Surrey University, and they've come up with this 3D mesh, as you can see, that works pretty much in real time. The mouth obviously um, is not, you know, doing anything. It's just leaving it open for your own mouth behind that. But, and of course, obstructions, you know, aren't going to go in front of it yet. It doesn't know how to do that. And, you know, it kind of messes up, of course, when you get something in front of it. See, when you do an actual deep fake using like deep face lab, you can take, uh, take your time and manually tell it to ignore facial obstruction so it will train kind of around that uh this is real time on the fly so you know it would only work let's see how good it can do from like the side profile side profile down up down that kind of thing so i mean it does a pretty good job and again this is all in real time uh apparently they've had some working version of something like this since uh the rtx 20 series came out so the touring edition cards but with Ampere, supposedly, you know, like now they're getting to the point where they can do pretty quick on the fly, real time face mapping. Um, but like I say, it's mostly going to be with like 3D cartoon characters for now. And I don't know if you'll be able to do like your whole head or if it'll just be your face. If it's just your face like this, I don't know how well that'll blend in. It'll probably look kind of silly. Um, but for fun, you know, like if you're streaming and you wanted to play as a, you know, like you wanted to stream but be a different character than yourself uh, a 3d character but have it talk as you talk and have the face move uh you know in a realistic method by the you know a, a realistic way uh and keeping pace with with what you're doing you can see it definitely seems to keep track of me pretty well i'm doing this again i have a logitech brio 4k camera but i think i have i gonna have it set at uh, 1080p 60 frames a second i think if you set it to 30 it would probably be a little choppier so Anyways, I thought you guys would find that interesting. It did take me a very long time to get it to work. And again, it's like it currently doesn't actually plug into anything to be useful outside of just playing with it. If I can get some way to uh, apply a texture to it, because supposedly you can. Um, again, the Surrey University that made this mesh, uh, there's 
like a higher resolution version of it. And then you can also get a texture for it if you send a request to them. So I did do that and we'll see. Um, maybe the, there may be nobody monitoring that inbox for all I know, or it could take them a year before they see my request, by which time I'll have forgotten about this and won't care. But, um, you know, hopefully they'll get back to me. It says that they usually respond within like a week, according to their site. So see what happens. Be kind of cool if I can get uh, get that to work and then apply, like I said, legit texture of some kind of the face and see how accurately that moves as I move. Because, uh, you know, currently deep fakes are all done after the fact. You take an existing video and then you import the trained model of the character onto it. And then that, uh, you know, the final video looks pretty convincing, but it's not live. None of it's real time. It's all after the fact. You know, you take something that may have just happened and you might be able to fairly quickly um, make a deep fake. Like with some of them I've done, I can do them in like a couple of hours and they're somewhat convincing at that point. They need a few days at least to at least kind of get good, but but even fairly quickly you can do it. But um, you figure in the future, uh, there's a movie Running Man. Maybe some of you guys have seen that with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's where I got some of my footage for some of my deep fakes. And um, in that movie, there's a, at least uh, one or two scenes where they use this facial mapping technology to make it look like Arnold is fighting with Jesse Ventura in this like battle pit where they kill each other, you know, get in a fight. And supposedly, well, I guess I won't uh, spoil it for you, even though it's a really old movie, but one of the characters dies, uh, but it's not really who it appears to be because they've just face mapped on him. And I think that's where this kind of thing is going is that you're going to one day, you know, you can already not really trust what the news tells you about a lot of stuff. You're going to watch what appears to be somebody saying something that they never said that because they're getting the AI down for um, voice pretty well too. It's not super convincing yet. Not as good as like the deep fakes for, for this kind of thing, but you figure, um, you know, people like myself or people more skilled than I am, at doing impersonations are going to be able to take something like this and they're going to be able to, to be very convincing on camera that they are somebody else. And so it's going to be an interesting future. Uh, I'd say another five to 10 years, um, you know, assuming we still have GPUs at that point, you know how the market is, but assuming GPUs uh, continue to advance at roughly the pace they've been going, um, stuff like this will be no sweat in like five, 10 years. You'll be having Real-time deepfake people appearing on TV or in movies. I think it'll be, you know, in movies it'll be useful because you'll see, um, you know, like with Luke Skywalker kind of stuff or whatever you want a younger version of somebody. Um, you know, even like that same actor could play a younger version of themselves uh, in real time. And, you know, if their voice is already correct, all you have to do is like, like with, um, I think it was, uh, well, Samuel Jackson was with Brie Larson in... Uh, what is it? Mar Wonder, whatever the fuck her name is. Marvel's Avengers. Uh, I can't stand, I don't like Brie Larson. <laughs> so, uh, Captain Marvel, sorry. Uh, but I didn't watch the um, the individual movie. I just watched the Avengers. But anyways, like they deep faked, I think, Samuel Jackson as a younger Samuel Jackson in those films, or in that particular film. And so, you know, in the future, they won't have to deep fake it, or it'll be like a live deep fake and he'll just be able to play himself. It won't, it'll sort of be like CGI is now, but I think it'll be more realistic where you'll be able to take like a library of Samuel Jackson's face from when he was like 20, uh, map it onto his, you know, however, I don't know how old he is. I think he's like 70 or 68 or something like that. So map it onto him. And, uh, you know, as long as all you see is his face, it's like, it'll look like 20 year old Samuel Jackson was uh, on screen. So anyways, Thought you guys would find it interesting. I'll supply some links to where I get documentation on how to do this and kind of how it works. If you have questions, ask them in the comment section. I'll try to help you with it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you have to have pre-installed, like uh, CUDA and then the CUDA uh, neural network library, a bunch of stuff in your machine. Some of that stuff I already, I already had most of it installed because I, some of it is either required or help speed up the process of uh, training deepfakes with deepface labs. So I had some of it already, but... Uh, the instructions are a little little janky, so if you have questions, ask them in the comment section below. I will try to help you if you really want to play with this, but it's pretty useless right now. Hopefully in a year or two, uh, they'll have it just built right into the NVIDIA broadcast software, and you won't need to, to try to manually do anything. I just saw that on there, and I wanted to learn how to do it, so I spent a couple of hours and I learned. So have a good night. We'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.